So I'm back at this house again. Geez, we do a lot of work here. Anyway, we've got Marcus and David here. We're going to be fitting the Give Energy all-in-one and gateway. On this installation, we're going to be benefiting from a battery-only solution. So these Give Energy units are apparently really easy to fit. So it's been delivered, so let's go and have a look at it. What are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a hand installing the Give Energy all-in-one. What, by sneaking inside the crate? Where is it? The lads have already taken it through to where it's being fitted. Marcus, thank you so much for coming along today. You've had a look at the job, is it? Straightforward enough? Yeah, it seems relatively straightforward and even better. Um, this is the first one I've ever done. Yeah. And after finding out I don't need to be MCS registered for this, it's actually given me an avenue for my business to maybe look and go and extend my business into this field. So, so you've said we're going to be fitting the all-in-one in the office and the gateways going under the stairs. It is, yes. But that's going to need some ducting. It is, so it looks like we're going to have to do some digging, but I've not come to dig. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> okay, well it sucks to be me, but what doesn't suck is the Give Energy all-in-one and the Give Gateway. Let's dive into the specs. Starting with the Give Gateway, this clever little unit can give you the whole home backup in case the power goes. It can switch the power between the grid and battery and do all of this without anybody noticing. And it's also a central connection point for all your renewable technologies like an EV charger or your solar array. On the front of the gateway, we have a double pole switch for the grid and another one that says bypass and load, which in the case of the gateway is the whole installation. I'll be going into a little bit more detail on those switches and these meters a little later on in the video. So what does it really do? Well, this is where the Give Gateway is really clever. In the event of a power cut, it can switch over to backup power in under 20 milliseconds, but it can also optimize your PV generation. So for example, let's say we have a power cut, we've have 70% in the battery, and we have power coming in from the PV array, the Give Gateway will automatically move the power to where it's needed. If the demand is in the property, it will send it there. Any surplus can get thrown back into the battery. But the customer won't even know that any of this is happening because, well, they won't know they've had a power cut. The all-in-one has four 3.4 kilowatt hour batteries, giving a total battery output of 13.5 kilowatt hour, and that with 100% depth of discharge. The battery, when fully loaded, is tipping the scales at 200 kilograms, so removing these batteries out of the unit is a must. Batteries on their own are still very heavy, so be careful. Give Energy have fitted these suitcase type handles, and you have these handholds on the side to make maneuvering them and carrying them a lot easier. So, with the batteries removed from the all in one, it can be moved into the desired position. At the top of the all in one is the inverter. This six kilowatt beast is AC coupled, meaning it's only converting DC to AC once, which makes the whole process of DC to AC conversion more efficient. The all-in-one has built-in Wi-Fi and can also connect directly into a modem. So the all-in-one and the Give Gateway are IP65, so they can be installed outside, but Give Energy do recommend they should be installed with a canopy. This is to protect from snow and frost, which can sit on the units for an extended period of time. And like all other battery systems out there, if the temperature does drop, so will the efficiency of the battery, which is why it's important to discuss the location of the unit with the customer prior to installation, so they're aware that the cold can affect the efficiency and output. What is cool though, is that the technology in the unit will throttle back the power automatically when it does get a bit chilly, which ultimately will prolong the life of the battery. Right, let's go see what Marcus is up to. So we find Marcus with his laptop plugged in in what looks like he's commissioning the system, but he's not. What Marcus is actually doing is at the beginning of the job, updating the firmware. Prior to this job, Marcus has put the updated firmware on a memory stick. So all he needs to do is plug into the Give Energy all-in-one and it will automatically take that firmware. Meaning when it comes around to the commissioning process, it's not having to rely on the customer's Wi-Fi to download the firmware update. We forget, don't we, that it is a battery and inverter combo. So even though it's not connected to any mains power or the installation, it does have power. I mean, can you imagine encountering a problem at the end of the job? Certainly on those Fridays when you're trying to get away. Hey, right, David, what are you up to? Hi, guys, you all right, mate? Yeah, uh, just fitting this gateway under the stairs here. Oh, I'm a bit worried. Is that an inverter? And this is obviously a, a far exit route with a stairs above it. Uh, are we allowed to fit those under there? Oh, uh, no, mate, this is not an inverter. It's, it's more likely the brains of the installation. Yeah, oh. but for um, 
all the spark is like yourself. It's just a fancy switch. Ah, you suggested I'm not uh, young enough to keep up with the latest I trends. Mean, no, you are absolutely you're right. <laughs> the customer at this property doesn't currently have a solar PV array. However, the Give Energy Gateway has got you covered. This bi-directional RCD here can be used to feed either an existing inverter or a new one when you add it to the system in the future. It's got you covered. Right, so I've done the real hard work, so let's pass it over to our industry experts, David and Marcus. The cable run is following the same route as a cable I fitted when I did the EV charger at this installation. The floorboards come up a breeze and David drills through to go above the conservatory. David has also left a bit of spare cable in the floor space, as the conservatory is being removed in a few months' time, so allowing it to be repositioned when the new extension goes in is a thoughtful one. Oh, and the cable being used is the EV Ultra from Doncaster Cables. The reason we're installing this is because a data connection is required between the Give Gateway and the All-in-One, and it just so happens that Doncaster Cables have the solution. We also have a 6mm squared cable coming from the Earth Electrode, which is following the same route down to the Give Gateway. Oh, and here's a neat trick as well with these clips from D-Line. You can put the 6mm in this space here, and then the EV Ultra on top of that, and secure them away, making it look really neat. So the cable is pulled through the duct in into the office. The all-in-one does require a 32 amp AC isolator, so we're fitting this one from BG. And here's a neat little trick with the EV Ultra. You can strip it back in such a way so that the Cat5 continues through without having to make any terminations. The 6mm terminations are connected into this Wago and it plugs in. The Cat5 is then plugged into the gateway in this port here in the PCB. And that's it for the all-in-one. Over to the Give Gateway now, and David is putting it in under the stairs. So as I mentioned earlier, we have these double pole switches and RCBOs. This 100 amp switch is where the incoming supply from the meter is connected. Fortunately, we have a double pole switch on our installation, so we can safely isolate the incoming supply. But if you don't have a means of isolation, you will need to contact your DNO or SIP. Right, back to the install. Tails are connected into the 100 amp switch just here, and then another set of tails will leave the 80 amp switch out of the gateway to go into the consumer unit. This now means that the incoming supply is being looked after by the Give Gateway, and we can monitor the grid consumption with this meter here. If the gateway, for whatever reason, was not working, then you have this bypass switch here. A buzz bar between the terminations will loop straight through to the load tails. But I don't think it gets switched on that often. Not after I found out what the warranty period is for these units. We'll find that out in a bit. The all-in-one is connected into this RCBO. And we have the other RCBO which goes to the PV array that Gary told us about earlier. Gas. Gas. Yeah. It's what, just gone lunchtime? Yeah. And they're commissioning. Oh no. Ridiculous. This went in by itself, I think, didn't it? Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah, all good, Joe. I'm Thank just you. undertaking in the commissioning procedure. So, Give Energy give a massive 12 years warranty to the customer. Now, it's important that we stick to their process and we take the strict pictures they ask for because if we don't, there's a chance that this warranty could be voided. And naturally, it's a massive warranty for me as an electrician, meaning once I leave this install, and I've undertaken the procedure correctly and the install's correct, that actually I don't have to worry about going back to the customer. They can deal with Give Energy for this big 12 years warranty. So to get this 12 year warranty, you've just got to take a photo. A bit more difficult than that, Joe. It's not one photo, it's just a handful of photos. So I'm just finishing the commissioning procedure, Joe. Um, basically a, a tick box exercise, um, a form on their community page, on their website, you have to log into their portal. We undertake the commissioning. It won't allow us to move on to a step, which is good, which means part of getting the warranty is doing this commissioning form. It means we can't actually miss a step and, and accidentally void that warranty in the future. I just thought he was taking photos of his work. Who am I to judge? Give Energy offer a free training program at their HQ in Newcastle under Lyme, and I went along for the day to see all the guys at Give Energy HQ. And it wasn't just about how great the unit is and a complete sales pitch, it was practical, informative, and I got to have a go at commissioning a unit myself. Once you've completed the training, Give Energy will set you up with a company portal where you can assign your electricians and installers, and you can set up all of your customer accounts as well. And commissioning the unit couldn't be easier. It's a web-based solution and a tick box exercise, which means you can't progress to the next part of commissioning until you've completed the step before. And the steps aren't rocket science. Inputting serial numbers, if it has a solar array, and those photographs which Marcus mentioned earlier, this is where we upload them into the commissioning process. Marcus has just finished the commissioning. And David has just finished the gateway, or as he says, for old people, fancy switch. All right. 
I think they're done. I think they're done too. I'll tell you what was done earlier on. Well done to you. That little bit of digging, wasn't it? Did it rain? Hey, it did rain. Yeah. Look at these blisters there, look. Oh, yeah. find someone who cares. <laughs> There you have it. The Give Energy all-in-one and gateway installed, commissioned and completed in just over three hours. If you want to find out more about it, we've left some links in the description to help you out, including the one day free training course. Oh, really not, so. I can't believe that's taken three hours to, to do it. Unbelievable.